as of on Tuesday last week. This Just week. A, this week. The 15 year old was supposedly with a friend that went uh, to steal marijuana from a marijuana plantation in school. And while they were stealing the marijuana, uh, they got shot at. And then they ran. And as they ran, one of them got caught. The other one uh, escaped, and the one that got caught, the information we got, he was held by this particular family and beaten and tortured and tied up and probably dead. So, uh, this family is known for, uh, for marijuana uh, plantations, cultivation. And so is this Satapuana or perhaps? Satapuana. Uh, so, we got the information from from the, uh, some of the villagers, some of the family members, and uh, we reacted to it immediately, which was uh, yesterday. Uh, we arrested one immediately yesterday, and that individual, as we arrested him, we discovered he had numerous marijuana uh, uh, on him, including seeds as well. Uh, immediately concerned for the safety of this child. Don't know if this child is still alive or being tortured. Uh, we quickly got a warrant from the judge. That was yesterday. That was yesterday. And we got authorization also from our minister, the Attorney General. And immediately a plan was formed. And our tactical unit along with some other units as well, went up to Satapuala right away uh, um, and did a search. Unfortunately, the child was not uh, recovered yesterday. However, a hundred plus marijuana plants was recovered not too far away from the, from the, uh, uh, the incident location. And there were tall marijuana plants. I believe two were arrested uh, last night from this incident uh, because of the danger of the location and numerous warrants have been served in that location before. Um, it was getting dark and it was raining. The officers came back and we continued early this morning to continue to search for the individual, for the child. Uh, our fears were confirmed this morning child has uh, been murdered. Um, uh, the body has been recovered and brought to the morgue here in uh, Mototua. Uh, we have also brought other suspects now. They're being interviewed. Also the search of location. We recovered other marijuana plants. Uh, ammunition. Uh, these are high-powered ammunition. Uh, military grade. We also discovered uh, explosives. Explosives. Uh, very, very dangerous. And uh, it's a very unfortunate, very unfortunate event for this family. It's a blow to Sakapuala. It's a blow to our community. And uh, and just to go to show again how violence can be attached with drugs, even drugs such as marijuana. As far as uh, Samoan police is concerned, we're doing do everything possible to prosecute this case to its met and bring these people to justice. Uh, I, I send my gratitude and my thanks to the community of Satapuala who assisted with the search today and yesterday. I thank my officers for the courage that they took to go up in those areas, those hills, are very dangerous. Uh, also, my condolences to the family and the victim, the 15-year-old victim, and, uh, and also to our government for supporting us in this, this search of this individual, which resulted in numerous marijuana busts, explosives being found, expended high-powered ammunition and trying to control these kind of illicit, illegal activity in our country. Samoa Police will continue to do its best to keep Samoa safe. Thank you very much.
a traditional country. So, so how many are industrial suspects in the murder? Well, we have about six people that we have in custody, and it could be more. We have more that we're looking for right now. This is from one family. This is uh, this this is a notorious family up in those areas. So and I think I we all have some ideas. <laughs> yeah, and there's a strong connection there, and we'll get to the bottom of this. It's very unfortunate that uh, somebody, a young child, has been killed, murdered because of marijuana. It's very, very unfortunate. It could be your family member, it could be my family member as well. What about the other kid? Uh, the, other uh, child, the other child the other child has protection or the other child has helped us a lot and his family as well in, in the recovery of this body and taking us to the crime scene. And I have to thank also the Matais of the Faipule of Tatapuala for assisting us in the search. It's a big area, it's not an easy task, it's very dangerous as well. Uh, uh, it's, and I take my hat off to my cops for having the courage to do such a uh, thankful job, thankless job. And well, congratulations. Although it's an unfortunate thing that happened to me, but glad that you got them. Yeah, the cops are just doing their job. But now it's just I feel sorry for the family, I feel sorry for the village. I feel sorry for all society that we actually have to deal with stuff like this. Um, now we just have to get our evidence together. We work very closely with the Attorney General's office. They've been kept abreast of this operation since the beginning. Uh, the model has been very supportive, giving us some good legal advice. And I thank the AG's office for their assistance in this. And we'll continue to sort their advice uh, on numerous matters. And we're going to work very closely with them on this particular case here. Okay.